Let's translate Acts chapter 3, verses 19 through 21. Metanoisate unke epistrepsate, isto exalifthine, imon tas amartias, opos an elphosin, keri anapsixeos, apo prosopu tu kiriu, ke apostili ton proker kiris menon, imin Christon isun. On di uranon men dexaste, achri chronon. Apocatastaseos, panton on elalisen, o theos, diestomatos, ton agion, ap eonos, of tu, profiton. Repent, therefore, and return in order that your sins be wiped out, in order that times of refreshing might come from the presence of the Lord and he might send the appointed one, the one who is appointed for you, Christ Jesus, whom uh, it is necessary indeed for heaven to receive until times of restoring all things which God, Otheos, God spoke through the mouths or mouth of Agion Profiton. So this is the holy prophets, his holy prophets from Aeonos, from eternity. Therefore, repent down here and return. These are in parallel and return in order that the sins of you might be forgiven. So technically, this is going to go after here because this is our verb. Just like that. So the word order was fine. In order that times of refreshing might come from the presence of the Lord. Whoa. And he might give or send the chosen one, the appointed one, he might send for you chosen one the Messiah namely Jesus or you could say the chosen one Christ Jesus and now we have a relative clause and this relative clause is pointing back to the chosen one Christ Jesus whom it is necessary, and we'll put, we'll actually move it like this. Who meant, on men the, it is necessary for heaven to receive until, and then this is a conjunction, until the uh, times of restoration of all things
we're going to put it underneath D here, verb. And then we have another relative clause, and this is parallel to chronon, which God spoke through the mouth of, let's get over here, the holy prophets of him from long ago. Therefore, repent and return in order that your sins might be forgiven or wiped out in order that times of re refreshing might come from the presence of the Lord and he might send to you the chosen one, Christ Jesus. That's one way of translating it. Whom, indeed, it is necessary for heaven uh, to receive until times until the times of restoring all things and of these times god spoke about through his holy prophets from long ago so metanoeo this is to change one's mind feel remorse repent be converted here's 319 so it has to do with repent, uh, conversion. And then un is post-positive. It's our conjunction. It's a particle. It's inferential. It's a transitional conjunction. So we can translate it as so, therefore, consequently, accordingly, then. You see it right here, 319. So therefore, repent and epistrepsote. So this is epistrepho. This is to return to a point where one has been, turn around, go back, or to change direction, turn around, to cause a person to change belief or course of conduct with focus on the thing to which one turns, or to change one's mind or course of action for better or worse, turn or return. So that seems to be what is here with BDAG, turn back or return. So I'm going to translate it as return, and the idea is return to God, return to the Lord. So repent, therefore, and return. Isto exalifthine. So whenever we have is plus the article plus an infinitive, this is denoting purpose. So we translate this phrase as in order to. Or you could say in order for. Either way, we're showing purpose. Now, exalifthine. This is exalifo. So this is uh, to cause to disappear by wiping. Okay, so to wipe away, to wipe out, erase. This being from Acts three nineteen, probably is, and it's it's an expressive phrase, perhaps. A metaphor and in its literal sense it means to obliterate remove destroy but when it's talking about records it's the removal of the results so you blot out a written record this is when you blot out a papyri wash it and get rid of that uh, error or whatever it is you're erasing so what's interesting is sin, amartia, it is recognized that sins were tracked and they were recorded and written down. And here we see exalifo. And so by repenting and turning to God, One's written record of wrongs are blotted out. 
they are wiped out. They are erased. There's no trace. They are obliterated from the record. That is what forgiveness is all about by the grace of God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So it says, in order that to forgive, well, this is passive. In order that to forgive, no, this is to be forgiven of your sins. We're going to translate it in order that your sins might be forgiven. This is Eris passive infinitive. In order that your sins might be forgiven. Opos on is also denoting purpose. So you can see here in BDAG, normally it's an adverb marker, how or that, but as a conjunction, it marks express purpose in order that with the subjunctive. And that's exactly what we have here, subjunctive. So uh, opos on is with the subjunctive. You can see it here without on and also here with on and the aorist subjunctive, which is exactly matching our situation. So it's denoting more purpose. So one purpose is for the forgiveness of your sins, that your sins might be wiped out. Another purpose is that times of refreshing. So keri here, times, period, anapsixeos. So this is anapsixis. This is experience of relief from obligation or trouble. Breathing space, relaxation, relief, times of rest. This is figurative language of the messianic age. Jesus has come. The Messiah has come. He ushered in the messianic age by repenting, by returning to the Lord. Not only do you get forgiveness of your sins, but it also brings about relief in your life. Times of rest. Now, this is not a promise that life is just easy breezy for those who are in Christ, but this is language that shows we live in a new era. We live in the era of the Messiah, Mashiach. We want to live in the era of the Messiah. This is times of refreshing. Where do these times come from? They come from the presence of the Lord, prosopon. So this literally means face or countenance. It can mean personal presence. Here, from the presence of someone, from the presence of Kirio. Kyrios, the Lord, and he might send apostle, apostello. He might send ton prokirismenon. That's a mouthful. Prokirizo. So it's mostly in the middle deponent, which is to say middle. And it means to express preference for someone uh, or of someone for a task, to choose for oneself select a point you can see the gloss here christ jesus who was appointed for you or you can translate it jesus who was appointed or destined to be your messiah or i think the simpler way is uh from the presence of the lord and he might send the chosen one to you namely Christ Jesus. No matter what, this is relating to Jesus. It's interesting here, Christon is not capitalized. However, some manuscripts do capitalize it. If it's capitalized, it's a name. If it's not, it's a title. And as a title, it's more of a function than anything. Either way, it still points to Jesus. There's no way around it. So the chosen one, to you or for you, namely Christ Jesus. Who is Christ Jesus? He is the one whom it is necessary that heaven receive. 
Dejome, receive, take in, grasp, welcome. So heaven must receive him. He's sitting at the right hand of God. Receive him for how long? Akhri, until. It's a marker of continuous extent of time up to a point. Until times of restoring. Apokatastasis. This is related to anastasis. Restoration. Anastasis meaning uh, resurrection. Apokatastasis is restoration. It can be variously understood until the time for restoring everything to perfection or as of stars in their orbits to their starting points. So until the time of restoration of all things, this is again, end time language. This is the day of the Lord as it were. So until the day of the Lord is basically what he's saying until the times of restoration of all things. Now, what are the restoration of all things? Which, own, God spoke about through the mouth of his holy prophets. Ap eonos. So, aeon can mean age, the past, earliest times. It's used of time gone by. It's an awesome eld, as BDAG has it. So you can see the holy prophets from time immemorial. From time immemorial. I'm just going to say from long ago. No one says immemorial these days. No one's going to know what that means. So from long ago, of time gone by, from a bygone age. So to translate, we have, therefore, repent and return in order that your sins might be wiped out in order that times of relief may come from the presence of the Lord and he may send the Messiah appointed for you, namely Jesus, whom heaven must indeed welcome until the time for restoring everything, which God spoke about through the mouth of his holy prophets from long ago. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, brush up on your Greek and Hebrew, We'll see you next time.